Niall and Louis. Hello, Gregory James. My, fa- my favourites. Thank you. <laughs> now, chaps, I want to talk to you about something uh, a little bit odd, OK? We're not going to go deep into it, but it's fan fiction, OK? OK. Jeez. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been reading up some of your fan fiction stuff. Um, <coughs> and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm not going to expose these people's fan fiction because I've, I've learned a lot about this world, that it's their world, it's private, they can do what they want, they can write the weird stuff, and believe you me, I read some weird stuff the other day. <laughs> I, can't, I can't unread it. But what I did do yesterday on my show is ask the listeners to write some stuff which is involving me, you, Niall, and you, Louis, and some little, story, little stories involving us three. <laughs> this, okay. is, this is nice. a great idea. So, what a great idea. <laughs> um, what I'd like is, uh, this is from someone called Jess P.A. Who's going to read this? So, Louis, you can read that one, please. Yeah. Okay. Any particular tone you want me to? Well, I know that you, 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 you do this in like um, okay, so you're walking, like a narrator, like a, you're, you're walking through a forest okay. in Narnia yes. with yeah. your dog that's actually got the head of a sheep. Okay, <laughs> sheep, right? Relevant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was just another quiet afternoon for Niall, so he decided to listen to the radio. Mm-hmm. As always, it was playing Radio One. He sat for a few minutes enjoying some Katy Perry songs when he heard Greg James's voice on the radio. He grabbed the nearest phone to him and Hello. dialed Louis's number. Hello? Louis, oh my God, guess who's on the radio? <laughs> Niall asked in excitement. Who, oh, tell me, Louis asked with a Yorkshire accent. <laughs> it's Greg James, Niall cried. <laughs> From Jess. There you have it, Jess. That was sick. What a lovely we story. One There's one for you now, Niall. This okay. is from Charlotte Millions. Oh, this one that's Charlotte been crossed Millions. out. Two, two good paragraphs there. Okay. Quite, quite comprehensive. With time. his chocolate-coloured locks and giraffe-like limbs, Gregory James headed off to prepare for his interview with the boys from it's One Direction. Yeah. <laughs> his ties clung to his maroon chinos as he sashayed down the corridor of Radio One, thinking to himself, Niall and Louis were his favourites on some level. On some level, There's bad he'd always... There is some bad prints There's here. bad punctuation yeah, there, I'm sorry. That's Charlotte Niall and Louis were his favourites. On some level, he'd always known that. <laughs> <laughs> his whole meaningless ex- existence had been leading up to this moment. <laughs> meaningless. <laughs> they don't think too much of you, Greg, do they? Nice, isn't it? This afternoon, this action. He was meeting with... Uh, he was meeting the flaxen-haired Irishman and the silly-haired northerner of the band. Days of narrating over music were over. <laughs> now, his finest hour. The boys sat down to begin the interview. Greg this is all one. was entraptured. Top of the morning to you, offered Niall. Bye, X, said Louis. <laughs> Do you like this? It's good. Nah, <laughs> You're a good looking man, aren't you, for a DJ? The phrase face for a radio doesn't apply to me, you old mucker. Greg laughed. <laughs> <laughs> he was totally at ease now. And to the show, what is going on with punctuation here? <laughs> this is all over the place. And to show how at ease he was, he removed his shirt. <laughs> Jesus. He I'm done, so happy to see you. He has to done that. Yeah, but I'm kind of looking forward to it in a weird way. That is Niall and Louis did not want to be left out, so the three sat shirtless <laughs> before, Scott stopped, before Scott stopped by to suggest some innuendo bingo. Soon the guys were spitting water at one another, soaking wet and shirtless. The Radio 1 studio had never been so consumed with hot. With hot. What a way, what a way to finish. There you go. Tell you what, there was some great punctuation what, what, in there. I don't know who typed know, that. That's Charlotte. Well, well, no. that's, that's, that was actually from her email. So um, in the film, you touched on uh, what, what it would be like when you're older. And I found that quite nice. You're sitting around the campfire. You're in oh, yeah. Sweden, right? Sweden, yeah. And you're all talking about what it would be like when you're older. And that mm. got me thinking, well, maybe I should write some fan fiction based on you two and me being older. Okay. Right. So I've actually written something for us here. Right. And what we need to do, do is... Do we have to read it out? Is this a, is this we've, a script? We've, we've got, it's a little script, very small script. We've got a few Do minutes. we have to audition for the parts or have we got them off? No, you've got the parts. You Thank want you. to play the part of Louis and right. you want to play the part of Niall. Really? And I'm going to be Greg. Do we get five minutes to rehearse the role? We, what we do get is we get 30 seconds to go <laughs> behind that screen and change. Okay. okay. So follow me. So we're aware these, no, these, these glasses actually have proper lenses. Yeah, these are prescription. I can't see, yeah. I can't see either. Uh, we'll just, just hold them on your nose like a yeah. librarian. All right, so Louis, there's your script. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to... No, my character yours. actually doesn't wear glasses. Okay. And here's mine. So, picture the scene. Here we go. We're all, we're all 80, all right? 
Um, this not working. We're all at the Sunningdale Retirement Home, <laughs> a quiet place in the Welsh countryside. Nice. Other retired famous people such as Daniel Radcliffe, Ed Sheeran and Screech from Saved by the Bell are there, but don't worry, he's in a padded cell. He's, in a, Screech from by the bell. he's in a padded cell. Okay. Himself. <laughs> so uh, it was a normal Tuesday, reruns of Greg's long-running successful TV chat show on BBC Gold were running all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, the, uh, and one of the nurses flew round, is, is the future, okay. and they gave us a choice of board games. So okay. I've been as imaginative and as creative as possible. So Louis and Niall, let's bring this script to life, baby. There are only three short little scenes. Louis. Okay, here we go. Everyone ready? Yep. yep. Oh, hang on. Do we need sound older in our voices? We need to be a bit gruffer. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Do you have an old lady voice? Oh, oh. Oh, lady. Oh. oh. That's oh. good. Old oh, lady. Oh. Yeah, okay. good. There you go. Continue. I want to play Cluedo. No, we always play Cluedo. But I like Cluedo. Hey, why don't we play Monopoly? Hey, that's not a bad idea. Can I be the boat? Yeah, cool, I'll be the car. Greg, you can be the hat. Can I also be the banker? Yep. Okay. <laughs> End scene. Next scene. Great scene. Later that night, Niall, Louis and Greg were sat on the porch <laughs> discussing the old days. <sighs> Remember when petrol was £1.45 a litre? Oh yeah, those were the days. Good times. <laughs> yes. Remember when it used to cost £130 for a two-hour train journey to Manchester? <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. We were lucky about then. It's a shame things have got so expensive these days, isn't it? It is, yes. End scene. Great scene. It's quite a boring life we're having. The next day, Louis, Niall and Greg are in the gardens of Sunningdale, doing a spot of gardening. Pass the spade, will you, Louis? There you go, mate. Careful you don't dig up the wrong flowers, Niall. Oh, Gregory, I won't. Shall I water the hanging baskets? <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Barbara did them earlier. And that's our life. Right. There's a little glimpse into what it would be like now, when you've retired. I have one question. Sure. Who is Barbara? Because you have left us on quite a cl like cliffhanger there, really. But the next episode comes the next time we see Greg. I mean, if, Maybe. if this gets picked up by a major TV company. Or Hollywood. Or Hollywood. Good. But a Barbara will be, uh, I don't need to put it, how do I put it politely? She's the village bicycle. Okay. okay? So everyone's had a go. Right. So she's very much... I don't think she's right for the show. It doesn't really give the right image. Okay. <laughs> but back you might want to have to get, give that one a rethink. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> now, chaps, all the very best for your stadium tour. Great chest, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, all the best with your stadiums as well, and the film Thank as well you. is magnificent. All the, Thank you very much. All the One Direction fans will love this film. You like your beads, don't you? <laughs> I was just doing a few prayers. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you feel at home. Um, and st I mean, I mean, you're doing this massive stadium tour. I mean, yes. We can't take each other seriously right now. You're dressed <laughs> as old ladies. But, um, Are we? <laughs> but all the very best. Thank like, you, Greg. We love you, Good and it's so nice you. to see you. And uh, we'll see you very soon. I love when I see you. Thank see you. you. Bye.